Hi, in this tutorial we will see the how to start a project from the scratch. Here I am going to create a Maven project. So in the Maven project I will select the web model. In the web model we can uh, start developing the project. So initially we will create a login page. Then later we will go for uh, home uh, later we can go for further developments so this is my project and i already configured the top cat we can run this project in the in this top cat so just run run on server after running you'll see the initial output of the page which is index.csp it's hello world we are able to see some errors and here web.xml uh, is also configured by default topcat will uh, consider this index.csp this error looks like uh, it's uh, due to the servlet jar which is uh, servlet jsp jar which is not available Okay, we'll add the servlet dependency. We are able to see the output because Tomcat have the internal servlet library, so it is able to compile the JSP. So we are able to see the output here. Let's add a dependency for uh, servlet. Servlet dependency. I will take the new version. Or you can take the last version. We can add into the palm.xml. After adding into the palm.xml, uh, this error will disappear because servlet chart will be added. Now, let's create a login page here. So, I will use the table to just arrange in a proper format. and we need a one button that's submit button if you refresh your page you are you can able to see the login page and you can try to enter some username password it will not redirect or it will not send a uh, to anywhere because we did not wrote anything to where to send or where we were to authenticate we have to say the action url i am going to write the action url as login and we will send these parameters in method type post we know that uh, get and post differences get will pass in the url bar and post will pass in a body so i'm going to say it has to hit to the 
login now if you refresh give your username password it will hit to the login we don't have the login servlet to authenticate there is no servlet exists so server side we have to add a class or we have to create a servlet so to create a servlet we have we need a source file source java file if there is no folder we will create a folder java see here we got the java folder new let's create a servlet com dot test login servlet if you see it will just we have to modify the url here as a login in our form we have mentioned the login as our authentication servlet this one yeah here we go do get and the service methods are populated here but if anything comes in a post request it will pass to the get so we can do the same operations anywhere let's see what we can see the output if one more thing you have to you can see where all servlets are mapped here the log url url pattern with which we have given in the creation time this is our login servlet name it will refer to name and it will see this servlet let's go back is it restarted whenever you create a new class or uh, modify the xml file you need to compile the project and deploy it okay let me compile first i will stop this compile this project if you are doing the external development you can use the mvn clean install or if you are doing in inside the eclipse you can use the commands also i am just using the built in mavin commands clean install let me update the jdk here we have some issue with compilation on the jre
here it has successfully compiled now we can run our project after running this uh, project we should be able to see the username password should be passed to the login servlet uh, one more thing we did not wrote any code to receive those username password here we have to write it at least either we have to see the output by saying that servlet path yeah we are getting the output here whatever the response is writing so now let's go for accepting those username password i'm going to accept this username from the request object request dot get parameter i have mentioned the name username in the input field let's catch this password now for our confirmation we will print the username and password here okay let's validate username and password and uh, based on the uh, validation we can give some uh, valid uh, message to the ui uh, if username equals to the valid username we will consider it as admin and password equals to admin will give some response response dot get writer dot append valid login else we will say invalid login let's see now how it is going to work So now the Tomcat automatically it compiles whenever you save the servlet file, it compiles and uh, redeploy the file, uh, var file. Let's enter our username and password. Yes, valid login. You can also see the username password where it has printed. Okay, we should give the password space. Now, what happens if I enter the wrong username other than admin? I think it is redeploying invalid login. We can see. Now, if I want, I, I don't want to redirect to the some page like uh, I don't want to show this message. I want to redirect to some other JSP page. Then we can create a new JSP. I will create here home.jsp. If valid login, I will redirect to this home.jsp. If invalid, I will redirect to the 
index like that we'll do we'll just say welcome let's modify this if valid login then i am going to redirect response dot send redirect to home dot jsp i don't want this uh, valid login invalid login if invalid username and password then let's redirect to the same page index.jsp let's take the html5 let me enter username password this is a valid username and password I'm admin admin welcome to home page if i enter some wrong password then what happens it should redirect to index.jsp so if it is correct it is redirecting to home.jsp see here if it is invalid it is going to redirect to index.jsp not only user uh, password uh, invalid use you and either password or username invalid entry it will go to index.jsp this title whatever you modify it appears in the title bar here you can see now here when i enter the password it is entering in the format of uh, uh, alphanumeric password usually we enter in a uh, asterisk format so that we can do by just changing input type password just refresh no need of compilation here you can see fine so this is what the basic login authentication page so in the next we will see the further development